Hello. I pray that you have a great day today. We live our lives marked by three milestones. The past, the present, and the future. Each of these have a measured impact upon how we see ourselves and the choices we make. In this series of meditations, we explore the I am statements of Jesus Christ. The term I am relates to God and appears over 300 times in the Christian Bible. The first incident is in the first book of the Bible, Genesis 15.1, and the last in the final book of the Bible, Revelation 22, 16. The statement reveals Jesus' self-definition, self-expression, and self-determination. Let us learn from these statements about Jesus' life, mission, and message. Furthermore, we can draw lessons from observing Jesus Christ in in order to enrich our own lives and our Christian growth. Our scripture focus today is found in the book of John. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still do not believe. And this is found in John chapter 6. Jesus' I am statements would have had particular significance for the first century Jewish listener who was familiar with the writings of what is for us the Old Testament and what was for them the Hebrew law, prophets, and writings. In that body of writings, God reveals himself to Moses with a resounding I am. So Jesus' use of the same words to describe himself is interpreted as his claim to being divine truly God, and that was very upsetting to the Jews. Let us remind ourselves that when we speak of the four Gospels of the New Testament, we are speaking of four different writers of the four different accounts we have of Jesus' life and ministry. There is some overlap of the incidents and teachings in all four Gospels, and there are some things that are unique to each writer. Each of them had a different perspective and a different purpose in writing their accounts of Jesus. This is why the Gospels are so rich as each perspective communicates some insight, some foresight to the one who was not afraid to say, I am the I am. John presents Jesus as God in human flesh. That's his purpose. The I am that is believable. The I am in the flesh. Jesus lived an absolutely extraordinary life, for which we have records primarily of the three and a half years of his public ministry, with just a few snippets of his childhood and a youthful event. The recording of the I am is full of and incomplete. Yes, you heard me right. I said full and incomplete. If we heed the words of John, the 
writer of this gospel and the writer who speaks of Jesus as the I am. John in the 21st chapter and the 25th verse says, Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have had room for the books that would be written. Wow. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of me, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I give for the life of the world. So what can we take away from the above text that we've read today? The bread of life is inexhaustible. Eat some. What do we mean by this inexhaustible? Well, the bread of life is never ending. The bread of life is everlasting. The bread of life is boundless. The bread of life is vast. The bread of life is limitless. The bread of life is endless. The bread of life is unlimited. The bread of life is infinite. And that's what brings us full circle to this unique human being who ventured from on high and clothed himself in human form and brought us bread that reverses the impact of sin with its dis-ease, disease, and untimely death. The infinite comes to the rescue of the finite. Eat some. Jesus said, anyone who eats of me will never hunger again. We come to the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who brings meaning, dignity, and destiny to our lives. Amen. If this meditation has been a blessing to you, subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.